Hi guys, welcome back for another video. So today I am going to be doing a brownie recipe for you and it's one that I discovered and it's absolutely amazing, so gooey, so tasty and it's gluten free um, and it only requires three ingredients. Alright then guys, enjoy the video. Okay, so first of all, preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius and then get your three ingredients, the Nutella, the almond flour and three eggs. And if you want to, you can add in nuts in there, but it is not required for this recipe whatsoever. I just like to add it in for the crunch. And then you need to get a baking dish of some sort. Make sure it's not too big, because if it's too big, you're gonna get a really flat brownie and it's not gonna be moist at all. So make sure it is not too big. Okay, so crack your three eggs into your mixing bowl, first of all, like that. And then get yourself a whisk or a manual or an electric one. Um, and then you need to whisk it for about three minutes until it becomes a pale yellow colour. So let's just whisk ahead and see. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And honestly, guys, this brownie is the nicest brownie you will ever try and it's like perfect for like giving people or taking to people's houses if you go for like a dinner party or something um so yeah so basically three minutes later and it, it should look like this so it's thickened up a bit and it's just a pale yellow color and then i will proceed to putting in my nutella you'll need a 400 gram tub of nutella and just empty all the contents of the jar into the egg that you just whisked, like I am doing now. Okay, and then you need to put in your half a cup of almond flour, the ground almond flour, which I have just done there. Okay, and then you just need a pinch of salt. Salt is just good for bringing out the kind of sweetness. Um, so yeah, let's just sprinkle a pinch of salt in there too. And then like I said, the nuts are not necessary at all, but I always put uh, pecans in there. Um, however, I went to get in, somebody had left like two pecans in the bag. So there's like literally hardly any pecans left. So I thought, let me try putting in some almonds. And like I said, it's just for a nice little crunch, but you do not need it for this recipe at all. This recipe is literally just three ingredients. Okay, so I just like break down the nuts a bit so it's not too big in the brownie. Just add a few more walnuts in there. Okay, and then next you just need to fold and kind of mix the recipe so that all the ingredients mix nicely together. I'm doing here and you'll see you'll end up getting a really nice gooey chocolatey mixture and this is what you should end up with it looks delicious okay so Okay, and then next up you'll get your baking dish that you're going to use and then I like to use parchment paper or greaseproof paper. And then you simply proceed to pour the mixture into the dish like I am doing here. I'm just looking at this is making my mouth water guys, like seriously water. Oh, so good. And again, do not waste anything. Make sure you strip the whole of the mixture out into your baking dish.
Okay, so there we go, just even it out a bit, shake it, shakey, shakey, shake. And then you simply need to put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And that's what I'm gonna do now, there we go. So, 25 minutes later, here it is, it looks delightful. You need to let it cool down for a bit before you actually cut it, so I let it cool down. And then I go ahead and cut the brownie into smaller chunks. Can you see that goo? Oh my god. Can you see that? Ooh. Making me so hungry. I'm actually gonna have to go and eat one after this. Just wait for it, just wait until you actually see a close up of a brownie, one of these brownies. Oof. Literally making my mouth water. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. That is so, so gooey. Like, oof. look at that. You can just see that chocolate running in the middle. Oh, it is so good, guys. It literally tastes as amazing as it looks. So, yeah, that is the end of that recipe. Super simple. It literally takes like half an hour to, to cook and everything. So, yeah, make sure you give it a go. And if you do, let me see how it turns out and let me know how you like it because it's delicious. Give this video a thumbs up if you think this looks amazing. And I'll catch you in my next video, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, guys, Eid Mubarak. Have a great one. Enjoy. Eat loads of food.